Dear students, now we will see using development tools in on mobile. The best part of this course is that you can inspect the pages that are running on your mobile device from your development machine. Let's take a look. One of my favorite new features is the new screencast mode. This as this allows you to derive the experience on your mobile device from your development machine. You can click on links and see the updates simultaneously on the device as well as on your desktop. While continuing to cast a video in full screen mode to your TV, now you can with Chrome 35.0.1900.0 or later. When you go full screen with both HTML content or video and flash, when you are already casting a tab, we will size things correctly for TV but show that content within the tab. On the TV, content should fill the entire screen. To try this feature, you do need you do need to be running the very latest and greatest version of Chrome. It's available today if you install Chrome Canary from the given link as a secondary browser on your computer and it works on Windows, Mac, Chrome, OS and Linux. As you can see, you have all the familiar features from the development tools available for mobile now. The next topic is reverse port forwarding. Now all of these examples we are accessing a live site but you can also set up port forwarding to allow your mobile device to access a local server on your development machine over USB. Let's take a look. To do this you want to make sure you have a server running on your local development machine. In this case I am going to use python simple http server on port tetra 9. Now to verify that it is actually working, I am going to access that on the local machine and it's working fine. If I want to know access that same page on my mobile device, I now I need to set up port forwarding. I can go back to the Chrome inspect page, click on port forwarding and set up a port forwarding rule. In this case port tetra 9 on local host or IP address 127.0.0.1 I enable port forwarding and click on done. When I refresh this page you will see that port forwarding is now running on port 80, 80 and 99.99. Now we see mobile tools for iOS. At this point we got all set up so let's try it out. I will open a new tab, navigate to localhost, tetra 9 on the mobile device and the page is ready to go. Now that was really easy and it's also possible to do this on mobile safari with, that, with the web inspector using the iOS webkit debug proxy. Now what's a little bit harder to set up. So check out the link below for more information. Now that you are equipped with the right tools we can get to work in the next lesson we are going to get started with the mobile user experience.